Hi there, it's Simone. I would like to share with you a new fountain pen that I just received in the mail. I usually don't really film unboxings because I can never hide my disappointment when something doesn't look like I expected. So I usually take a look at it first in <laughs> the quiet privacy of my home. And then when I'm okay with sharing it with the world, I film. So I watched a video by Lisa Pearson. If you don't follow her, I will link her channel in the description box below. Um, she talked about that she purchased a Platinum 3776 through Amazon Japan. And I was in a spendy mood that day when I watched it and I checked it out. And because of the conversion rate, the pen was $86 instead of, um, what is it usually here? 170 ish. Um, and since I still had some Amazon points from the credit card, um, this pen only cost me in essence 29 bucks. So I decided to pull the plug and I purchased it last week it came in exactly one week after the day that i purchased it uh, which was really fast because the delivery time frame that um, they gave was another week from today so this is really good um, it comes in this sleeve the packaging was okay there was a plastic wrapping oh, no it wasn't it was just packaged like that i think Yep, and then it came in a cardboard uh, box. There was some tape right here that I already t took away. Um, this sleeve is just so that it doesn't damage the box during transportation. And then let's open this up. Um, this is what it looks like. There is a plastic sleeve that covers the pen. I went ahead and I got the Laurel Green. I really, um, it just spoke to me the most. I got a safe uh, nib size, which is medium for me. Um, the trimming on this pen is gold. Um, it has rounded edges, so it's the cigar shape. There is this um, small step up on the clip and then the cap band says number 3776 century platinum made in japan when you open this up it unscrews like this the pen is not really uh, very big i will show you a comparison really soon and then this is what the nib looks like the uh, breather hole is a hard shape, which I personally really like. It says it's a gold nib, has the uh, Mount Fuji on top. This pen is the number 3776. It comes from the height in meters of Mount Fuji. Uh, then it has the P right here, 14 km. And this is what the feed looks like. This is side view. Um, the cap screws on with this. Oh, it like, it's really easy until you get to this point and then you have to twist it one more to get it all the way in. That is because, I'm not sure if you can see this here. There is a cap in cap probably like so you can see it um, that keeps the uh, it's supposed to keep the nib and feet from drying out I have not used a platinum 3776 yet so I don't know if that is actually true um, and then this is the section and screws this is a cartridge converter pen uh, platinum has proprietary cartridges and surprisingly enough 
let me show you what is underneath. There was no cartridge included or um, converter in this pen. We have the warranty card here, and then here is the manual. Um, I am on a no spend this month, so I won't be able to purchase a converter right now. I tr really try to stick to it because when I cave and buy stuff, then I will just not follow it. So I do, since I purchased several platinum preppies in the past, I do have some um, cartridges in my possession. So I rinsed out one because I would like to fill it with a fountain pen ink for my next ink rotation. Uh, there is a ball in here that is not moving without liquid, I guess. So this is what the cartridge looks like and you would put it in right here and this fits. Let's just test it out. I will ink it up and then when I'm done with the inking part um, and showing you some writing samples, then I will compare it to um, some other pens that we all know. You can hear, let me, <laughs> so you can actually hear the, the ball rolling around in the, in the cartridge. I have not seen a converter for the Platinum and I'm wondering if they also have this ball in there or if the ball is just in the regular proprietary cartridges. The ink that I'm using is Robert Oster Black Violet. I just recently reviewed that ink in a video or reviewed the subscription box from True Fay. They sent this to me for free. So I guess this video is a paid promotion. Um, but this I, I, I paid with my own money. So let's hope that, oh yeah, now you can hear it. Let's hope that this works. Here is my tester book. I'm testing all the things. Of course, it hasn't come all the way down through the feed. Maybe I'll dip it just in. Someone told me, and where is my, somewhere close. In the comments to one of my videos, someone gave me the tip that if your pen is, if your fountain pen is dried up, just use a water brush to prime the nib until you can see the color, and then it should write really easily. I have done that several times and it works it works like a charm so that is awesome awesome whoever gave me that tip thank you so much i usually have a water brush around so that's super easy to to actually use let's see if that helps to prime the feet and get the water capillary motion going nope i did not fill the pen all the way with ink. This usually helps too. Uh, as you can see, this is definitely not working just yet. So I'm, I decided I'm going to dip it in to ink for now and hope that this gets all the juices flowing as I hope they will. Definitely looks like the so this is a black violet and in writing it basically looks like a dark gray. Six fourteen K. Right? Fourteen K. Yes. Medium nib. And it seems to write pretty smoothly. I wasn't sure if I would like this uh, nib because I do like glassy, smooth, buttery, soft nibs. And I have heard that platinum pens or platinum nibs are quite hard. Uh, however, I tested this pen 
in a medium size nib with a friend and I was surprised at how much I really actually liked it. So uh, I decided when I saw that to go ahead and um, buy one. So this is this, the uh, Robert Oster. It definitely, uh, so, how do I describe the feeling of writing with this pen? Black, violet, did I say velvet? I meant violet. Um, so I feel like it, because it's so hard, the, the nib, it's not as bouncy and soft, but it's also not as draggy. I plan on inking up the custom Pilot Custom 74 for the next ink rotation so that I com can compare. Those are both regarded the beginner fountain pens or gold nib pens for uh, Platinum and Pilot, and they are very vastly different. Um, but I really like this. Um, it's It just glides over the paper because it is so hard and it's not so draggy. I, I'm curious to see how that writes, how the feeling is writing on Cosmo Air Light paper, because I feel like that paper is writing, is like writing through mud. So here I pulled out some pens that many people have in the community. Um, I wanted to compare it definitely to the Pilot Custom 74, which is this one. And then I have a Twisby Eco right here and a Lamy Safari. You can see, um, actually, the uh, Twisby Eco is the same size as the Pilot uh, Platinum. Let's check here. I would say if I, yep, same. But the Pilot is definitely taller. Let's uncap. Well, this one isn't a screw cap. All right, so the uh, Lamy is shorter than the Eco. I don't even know if I have ever made a comparison like that. And then let's put the Platinum. Um, so if we put, if we line up the where the nib goes into the feed, here, right here, and have this rolls. Let's put this here. It's considerably shorter than the Lamy and the Eco, and then let's have this one right here. So the Pilot, uncapped, even though capped it is the longest, it would fit right in here. And then, but it is still uh, quite Almost that back section is basically what it's what it is longer than the platinum three seven seven six, and then here is the Twisby. So interestingly enough, you would hold your Lamy right here, which is further away from the nib and feed than the. Can you see that? Then the Eco, like if you hold it as it's supposed to be, this is further away from the paper and the feed. Let's put those two away and then just cons con look at those two again one more time. I want to compare the width of the section. So the section is shorter here. A bit, I would... I have I don't have a tool but if you look at it from here the section on the custom 74 is narrower um, the for my hands for my feeling fingers the uh, uh, threads are not obtrusive in when I'm holding the pen and my fingers and fingertips are so big that I, even if I grip it like that, I will automatically um, hold my, touch the, 
What did I just say? This. I, I lost the word. Threads. Then here, there is a bigger step down from the barrel to the threads and then another step down to the section. And this is just one continuous line until you get to here uh, where you have a tiny step down. I'm gonna cap this one right now. Um, I feel it, but it's so far back that I basically don't touch the bigger step down and I'm not, they don't, the threads don't feel obtrusive to me. I definitely can't say if that is the case for everyone here. So now I have unkept this for a longer while. Let's see if it still writes or if it already dried out. Nope, still writes. That's impressive. So uh, for me, this pen is on the verge of being too short to be used as uncapped, uh, unposted. I'm not sure I would post this though. It's still okay. It feels comfortable in my hand like this. If I post this, this becomes quite heavy. It's not pulling the pen out of my fingers, leaning backwards, but it's consider considerably more back heavy uh, than before, obviously. Um, and writing with it is still okay, but it's not as comfortable as without. It's definitely lighter for sure, um, but but it works. It posts securely and you can remove it like this. You can see that it's kind of friction fit here. And there's that. So I cannot wait to put this into my ink rotation and test it out a bit. Um, I'm curious to know um, if you are interested. I have had this pen for a year now. Um, and I never really made an introduction video for this pen as I did with this. And I know there's lots of fountain pen uh, videos for all of those pens out there already. But I'm thinking of maybe a... So I have had a video like one year, Pilot Custom 74 in use for one year. What are my thoughts now? And go through many of the pens that I have acquired in the past year, two years, and just give you an update on how I feel about them now that I have had them in my possession for a while. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, do you have one of those Platinum 3776s? What nib size do you have and how do you like uh, using it? I'd love to know. What's your favorite pen and ink combination for this pen too? Really curious to hear. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye. Um, I think this pen for me, why is this guy actually doing blowing freaking leaves through the area here?